Hello, all the good people. It's Crash Champion Store 0556. It's David at Discount Forklift. I am standing here with your beautiful 6,000 pound lithium ion powered forklift by Lift Hero. It's got your Crash Champions logo that I love on both sides of it. It's, of course, your favorite color. And uh, she's got a name. This is Janie. If she is normally a workhorse, but she'll work even harder for you if you call her by name. If you address her by name, she'll work even harder for you. Um, excited to show you some things about that, but before we do this, let me run through uh, this little goodie bag I'm going to send you here. There is a hat in here with our uh, favorite forklift logo on there, Lift Hero. We have got uh, a shirt here for you that's the evolution of lifting. There's the front and the back. Pretty good. And then one of the best things that's in here, we've actually got a forklift maintenance guide. So the discount forklift maintenance guide. Um, all kinds of good information in here. You guys have a forklift that's pretty much or pretty much uh, maintenance free. Obviously you still have to grease the desserts and stuff, but the battery's totally sealed. You don't have to do anything with that. Pretty maintenance free, but there's still lots of good information in here. Uh, information, tips and, and whatnot. Back behind this tab here, there is these periodic sign offs. Um, I always recommend that people leave those, uh, the original in the book here. That way you always know where there's a clean original when you need to shoot photocopies of that. Let's talk about the forklift. Right next to our name tag here, there is a um, door here. This is your charging port. You'll notice underneath there, there's a, a sticker. Please remove the key from the, turn it off and remove the key before you charge it. Very important that you do that. Turn the forklift off, take the key out before you do this. You've just got a little uh, push button there. You can open up this door. There is a rubber plug on here. Keep it clean, pull that off, plug your charger in there. The charger will be in a cardboard box on the back of the forklift here. And that charger plugs into any 110 outlet, so super simple to charge. Um, let's go through the controls on the forklift itself. These are your typical forklift controls. No uh, big special secrets here. You get your three levers, you get your up down, you get your tilt, you get your side shift. On the steering column here on the left side, you've got your transmission control, three positions. Up is forward, middle is neutral, down is reverse. And on this side, you've got your lights and your blinker. Um, not to overlook the other two important things here. On the other side here, you've got the uh, parking brake, uh, typical parking brake here. And you've got this little red button here. Now that but, uh, button is the battery cutoff switch, kind of your emergency cutoff. It does not need to, be, need to be pushed all the time, but it does need to be up when it's operating. So if you get on the forklift and go through all your normal procedures and it does not uh, respond, check that button, pull that red button up. And it's like I said, you don't need to shut that off all the time. Let's uh, walk around the forklift here and let me show you some things about it. These tires, gotta love these tires. These are great tires, way better tires than they've got on a normal forklift. So no matter what, uh, where you're driving, that tire will do you well. Here on the mast, we've got a service sticker. Um, just been serviced. There's a sticker on both sides there. So uh, you can keep track of when it's been serviced. On the forks, we're safety conscious, just like you guys are. Very safety proactive, as a matter of fact. Your forks, we've painted red with yellow tips on them. That way, when you're uh, running across the dark warehouse floor or maybe outside at dusk or early morning, something like that, you can see where the forks are, be aware of where the people are and the other uh, things that are around. Everybody needs to go home safe and sound at the end of every day. So please be cognizant of where your forks are. So in the name of safety, um, there are a number of built-in safety features to this forklift. Four things you need to be aware of before you can operate the forklift. Number one is you actually have to have a butt in the seat. There's an operator presence system there. You can't start the forklift while you're standing outside. You can't operate it while you're standing on the ground. You literally have to be in the seat so that uh, you can operate it. Number two is the seat belt. Common sense tells you you need to keep your seat belt fastened at all times. So uh, please do that. Number three is your transmission has to be in neutral. And number four is your parking brake has to be on. If those four things are not done, you cannot start the forklift. Now, um, a couple other important things to note. Right up here on the top of the mast, you've got a 6,000 pound capacity 
marked on there, don't overload the forklift. You, we've all seen the horror videos where people do something stupid. We don't want you to be one of them. Um, overhead here, you've got a translucent uh, cover. That way, when you're outside, whether you get a little bit of, of uh, weather, precipitation, or it's scorching hot, gives you a little protection. And um, the other thing you need to be aware of is that there is an always on beeper here. You probably won't hear it in this video, but uh, you'll definitely hear it when you're operating it in person. That's designed so that everybody around you is aware that the forklift is operating and keep them safe. Now, as you would expect with this forklift, there is uh, no engine in it, so there's no uh, grinding. Just turn the forklift on, give it about 20 seconds to uh, do its thing there and uh, go through its checks and you're good to go. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demo the brakes here. Good. Good. When you're backing up, you've got a hand hold here, a grab hold. There's a red button on there, so feel free to uh, use the button for the horn there. Or of course, there's one on the steering wheel as well. So whichever way you're uh, you're going, you've got easy access to that horn. Let me demo the rest of the functions here. This space is a little too small to actually show you what this forklift can do. But you can see that she makes good turns. Run the mast all the way up. Back down. Notice how quiet it, it uh, glides up. Same thing for the tilt. Goes all the way forward. All the way back. And your side shift. Both directions. You've got your lights right here. Here are your lights on, lights off, lights on. Here are your blinkers, your left and your right. Guys, I think this uh, forklift will do you a great job. We appreciate you supporting our business so we can support uh, businesses like yours. Hopefully this will take a lot of the workload off of you and uh, you guys can uh, have life a little easier. Thanks, guys. Here's your serial number.